Hi, I'm Rebecca Matthias, your success coach, and I am here with video and secret number three for your transformation, six weeks to more happiness and success. So I'm really excited and I hope that for the past week you've been working on your environment and as you can see I'm surrounded by a wonderful environment and this is my backyard and I think it's really important for your environment to be your sanctuary, for your home to be your sanctuary. So I just want to touch on that a little bit before I reveal secret number three. And I was listening to a fabulous book this week called The Game of Life and How to Play It. So if you haven't yet read that, I would highly recommend that you take a look at it because it's fabulous. And I also want to just take a quick minute to teach you a tip is to learn your unique learning style. So for me personally, reading something, I take a little bit longer to absorb it. And I have had the game of life and how to play it on my MacBook for probably a year now. And I have not read the whole thing, but I just bought it, the audio version. And that's how I learn. If I hear something, you know, from an audio perspective, I pretty much download it like that. So I want you to tune in to how you learn and honor that. That's a big part of the journey of getting to the place of happiness and success in your life. So I listened to this audio already two times in the past two days. So that goes to show you that when we learn in the way that you know we best learn, that we can learn faster. So if it's reading for you, or if it's visual for you, if it's a video for you, or if it's an audio for you, just truly honor that because it does make a big fat difference. So anyhow, I just want to touch on environment for a second. So I hope you've been honoring your environment. And I can't even begin to tell you the amount of clients that I have had that have worked on their environment and the breakthroughs they've had financially. So. If you only have so much space in your life, for example, and you clear out some clutter, whether it's mental clutter or people clutter or environmental clutter or, um, you know, just like virtual clutter, for example, if you have like 3,500 emails in your inbox, then you definitely want to clear things out so that you have space to receive the new. So you have to clear out the old in order to allow space to receive the new. So I just want to take a moment to touch on that for a second. And I also want to congratulate you on taking the time to do your environment, to create your space of beauty and surroundings and so on. And that's something that I have always been very in tune with, even before I had my success. Even back when I was really struggling, I was very much into what is my environment like and does it work for me. Um, I even used Louise Hay's color and number book and my closet is color coordinated. So you might think that's a little obsessive compulsive, but it's really, it's tuning into me and it's acknowledging who I am and what my needs are. And so when I look at my color and number day specifically, and you're probably looking at me thinking, oh, is today black? No, it's not. Um, so I, I tune into my colors a different way. But for me to walk into my closet and ask my inner essence, what is it that I want to wear today? And I know that it's like color number um, turquoise, which is the number five. That means change and surprise. Then I have a section of my closet that's specifically turquoise. So I can pick which turquoise color I want to wear, which is kind of fun. So I think it's all about you tuning into yourself, your desires, which is what we talked about in video number one. So I hope you've had a chance to get your environment in place and just surround yourself with what is going to support you, which leads us right into secret number three, which is support. So what is going to support you? Who is going to support you? And I think the who is a big thing. So the number one thing that is going to support you is you. And I think that's the big thing. It's really tuning into what do you need, what is important to you, and how can you surround yourself with the things 
and the people that will help you to be your biggest, best self on any given day. Who can you reach out to? I would highly recommend that you make a list of support people that you know that you can trust your most deepest self with, that it will show up when you're down in the dumps, when you're having a bad day, when things are off track, because we all get off track. I know I get off track, and I've got a list of people that I can call on any given day that I know will help to lift me up. And the other thing that I just discovered on this fabulous The Game of Life book is there is, and I just said this to someone today, that if someone else believes in your success, then your success is inevitable. And I love that. I really thought that was brilliant. So I wanna let you know that I believe in you. I believe in your inevitable success and therefore your success is bound to happen. So I just wanna let you know I honor you for where you are, for who you are on the journey for everything that you've created, for everything that you've been through, because that is such a huge part of our journey. I mean, over the past 10 months, I have been through a whole hell of a lot. Through all of this, creating a telesummit and running a leadership mastermind program, I have, um, I, there were two men that tried to break into my house way back in January, so I went through that, and then about a month and a half later, my best friend died kind of unexpectedly, the prediction of time for her to deal with her cancer was not on the mark. And, you know, that was heart-wrenching. And then not two months later, I was on my way to New York to a leadership program with Gina DeVee and Jen Groover, my mentor, and a couple of other fabulous experts. And I was staying with a client and my car's brakes went out on the way there. So I have really been through a lot over the past 10 months and I just want you to take a moment to acknowledge yourself for who you are and what you've been through on this journey because what, what we go through is truly a learning lesson and it makes us stronger. And so this week I want you to make a list of who is supporting you, what is supporting you, and what habits and behaviors you have that are supporting you or bringing you down because that's important for you to get a baseline of where you are and then where you need to go. So it's really important for you to pay attention to who you are, what supports you, what helps you, what nourishes you, what helps you to be in your essence and really truly tap into your inner self. And for me, I'm gonna give you some examples. It's listening to music, it's repeating affirmations, sometimes writing affirmations, it's journaling, it's coming out here in this amazing environment. I don't know if you can hear my waterfall of my pond, but that is a big, huge sanctuary for me. So what is that sanctuary for you? Where do you have your batteries recharged? I just went to the spa on Tuesday this week to Hershey Spa in Pennsylvania, and that truly recharged my batteries big time. And um, some other things that I do is I'll take time to meditate. Yoga is huge. Going to the gym, working out with my personal trainer is huge. Um, spending time with my family and having fun, exploring new places. I actually got lost on the way home from Hershey Spa this week. And I started to get into a little bit of resistance. And then I was like, oh, wow, I'm exploring, exploring a new area. This is great. And I actually explored um, a waterfront running park and I'm really excited to make a trip back there and do some running waterfront, which is extremely nourishing to my spirit. And I take time to kayak once a week or every other week. I recently bought a kayak. And so I just wanted to give you some examples for you to be able to tap into your essence and what's important to you to create your spirits, nourishment, the people, the environment, all of that is critically important to nourish you to be your best self because that's what this life is all about. So thank you so much for tuning in to video and secret number three in the series of your transformation, six steps to create more happiness and success. Again, Rebecca Matthias, your success coach. And I look forward to supporting you on the journey. Please share this video. Put your comments below. 
I would love to hear about where you are on this journey of transformation and how I can best support you. Have a great rest of the day.